Come on, bro. We've never ever gotten past the bouncers. Let's go home. Stop moaning, Sam. I feel like we're gonna rock this time. You always say that. But this time, Jake was right. He's my best friend, by the way. And I'm Sam. I'm so sorry. I hate you. Me? No, the guy I'm talking to. Are you okay? Yeah, don't worry. Anyways, why are you guys standing here? Let's go inside. She grabbed our hands and pulled us into the club. It's okay, Bobby. Even Cinderella wasn't as excited as us when she finally arrived at the ball. The club was filled with fancy people and amazing music. Well, have fun, guys. Wait! For some reason, everyone began to applaud and shout, greeting me. They grabbed me and pushed me towards the stage, asking me to give a speech. Speech! 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 Which I did. Ah, good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm not good at public speaking, actually. <laughs> oh, so let's just kind of have fun and stuff. When I left the stage, multiple girls surrounded me, asking for selfies. Some of them hugged me very hard. Everyone wanted a piece of me. I could hardly breathe. Everyone except for my crush girl who brought me here. Can you write from Max with love on my t-shirt, please? Max? But I'm not. Of course he can, but maybe later. Come here. While I was enjoying my fame, Jake was Googling this event. It turned out to be a fan convention for a popular blogger, Max. He's a travel blogger, and apparently every girl on the planet's crush. Bruh, they think you're that star blogger. I've never heard about him, but gosh, we look like twins separated at birth. I gotta tell everyone the truth. No, Sam. Come on, bro. Let's have fun. We deserve that. He was right. After all our struggles, we deserved some good luck. So I gave up. We took a seat in the VIP zone, and a flock of thirsty fangirls surrounded us right away. So, Max, how are you doing? Uh, I'm not Ma- He's doing great. Yeah, and I'm Max because that's my name. Jake began to dance and chat up all those pretty girls, but I didn't feel as comfortable. Suddenly, one of the fangirls leaned on me. Oh no, what is she doing? It's so cold here. Can I sit closer? And then she just hugged me tight, and we kissed. Ah! That's not how I imagined my first kiss. But still, it was kind of nice to be loved. And just when I thought that it couldn't get cringier, my crush girl showed up. Oh, I wish I was kissing her instead. Now she thinks I'm a womanizer. Come on, Max. I didn't know you were so shy. Finally, I managed to get rid of my kisser. But my crush girl had already disappeared. Ah, oh, I'm such a loser. The party went on, and Jake kind of lost control. He told some ridiculous stories about Max to the local reporters and made silly bets with fans. Okay, maybe it's time to go now? Are you kidding me? We're just getting started. Let's order some food. Take a look at the prices, bro. That's my pocket money for a year. But the waiter said that everything was free for us because we were special guests. Woo! So we ordered a bunch of expensive stuff from the menu. Lobsters, oysters, snails, and so on. Not just for ourselves, but also for the fangirls. The meal was delicious, but suddenly I noticed that Jake's face got reddish. Bruh, are you allergic to seafood? How do I know? I've never eaten it before. Oh, crap. Jake rushed to the toilet, and I followed him because he looked really bad. Oh no, I'm so young, I'm not ready to... Um, uh. Hold still, I'll get some help! Are you sleeping in there? I need the toilet! Oh, hi, it's you again! What happened to your friend? I don't know, looks like an allergic reaction. What did he eat? Seafood! Are you nuts? Here, drink this, I'm allergic too, so I carried them with me all the time. Her anti-allergy pills got Jake back in shape pretty quickly. Thank you so much, you're an angel! Ahem, <clears throat> I still need the toilet. Yeah, sorry, we're leaving. By the way, my name is... Max! His name is Max! We gotta go! I'm alive! Let's celebrate! But the hour of reckoning was close. 
the door opened and I was speechless. That was Max, the real Max, and he didn't look happy. He grabbed my shoulders and gave me a savage look. What's going on here? Are you my stupid stunt double? I, I, I can explain. Whoa, whoa, come on. I'm sure I can work it out peacefully. You put my entire career at risk. I'm calling the police. We tried to calm him down, but Max just wouldn't listen. He pushed us away and went out to make a call. Psst, let's get out of here. You read my mind. We tried to sneak away from the club, but the security guards caught us and kindly asked us to pay the bill. Apparently, Max had already warned the waiters. The check was huge, thousands of dollars. But we don't have that money. What are we gonna do? I was prepared to wash dishes in this club until the end of time. But suddenly, Max took the microphone and told everyone that they'd been pranked. My fans confused me with someone else. What a shame, guys. You, come here. I went to the stage. Max grabbed me and whispered in my ear. Look, I'll take care of your debt if you follow my lead. Oh, okay. He told the crowd that I was hired to prank them, and I confirmed his words. No! My crush girl was listening too, and she looked pretty gloomy. Sorry guys, I gotta go. I rushed to her to explain myself. Hey, I know you're probably disappointed that I'm not a superstar, but I really like you. Can we maybe go out sometime, if you don't mind? Hmm, okay. Really? Yeah, I'm Megan by the way, Max's sister. What? Well, obviously. Who do you think just saved your butt? Yep, it was Megan who pulled the prank in the first place. And it was her who persuaded Max to forgive us. She said she had invested a lot of effort and money to organize this party. But Max acted like a diva and threatened to not come. That's when Megan met me and came up with a plan to teach her brother a lesson. 